Thank you, Dora. Thank you, witness, for the introduction. Um, I think Dora's illustrated quite beautifully the um, benefits of open access and how it influences um, our institutions and our researchers. So um, I will just um, give you a, an overview of the projects that we have that support and the services that we have that support uh, open science at the university. So we also started uh, with an institutional repository, uh, mainly. We've always, the library's always supported open access, but um, actively, much more actively since the university signed the Berlin Declaration in 2011. Um, our biggest collection is also thesis and dissertations, um, but we do have a few special collections. And these special collections are mostly through collaborations with other institutions and individuals that also um, feel very strongly about sharing their research um, on open access. Uh, you might have seen on the slides for the slide for our institutional repository, um, the first collaborator that we had was um, for the Willem Bosov archive. So this South African artist was really keen to share um, uh, um, his work um, and research on open access. And we host 37 digital representations of his artwork and about 1,500 of his photographs of South African flora on Kofsi Scholar. But if you go and visit Kofsi Scholar, the special collections, there are quite a few um, other collections as well. And we're working on the research articles, conference proceedings, all of the research output um, of, of the University of the Free State. So after that, we continued um, by developing uh, the uh, uh, platform for the university's academic accredited journals um, on open journal systems, uh, OJS. Um, we collaborated closely with ASAF, Charlie mentioned that earlier, um, to build capacity at the library. And we also um, worked closely with uh, the journals and our research office to adapt the policies and guidelines of the Corsi journals to better support open access and to develop editorial uh, capacity. Um, we uh, started a digital digitization unit um, to uh, also support our open access initiatives at the university by giving access to collections that were previous had previously very limited access or no access at all. Um, so we also support our researchers um, when they have, for example, older uh, data that they collected on paper, we'll help them digitize those. Um, anything to support um, open access and open science. Uh, the Research and Scholarly Communications subdivision, uh, Dora mentioned ORCID, sorry. Um, uh, they provide support for, for researchers with their online research IDs and management like ORCID, and also providing research data management services. Uh, to students and researchers. And I think Charlie mentioned that as well. We will have our data repository um, uh, uh, available in 2020 for researchers to host their data, share it, collaborate, and publish it um, openly if, if that is the case. Um, it, a lot of research support, but our teaching and learning division also supports open access. They collaborate, for example, with CT, uh, our Center for Teaching and Learning on open educational resources, and they are also starting an undergraduate research journal in 2020. Jeanette? So if you have any questions about that, Jeanette Bolopiani over there will be able to give you some more details. And then you would have seen on the slide as well, um, uh, some of our spaces. Um, we have a collaborative space for undergraduate uh, um, undergraduate students in the Sasso Library. So the whole idea with the undergraduate journal, with these spaces, is to foster um, a, a culture of research and openness right from the beginning of a student's career. We have the postgraduate research unit on level six. Um, we'll say, share these slides with you as well 
All of the details for the librarians and the research librarians are on there too. Um, our South Campus Library has a makerspace, also a space for collaboration, fostering research, innovation um, <coughs> at an undergraduate level, and um, hopefully next year we can launch um, another makerspace <coughs> at the Sassel Library here on the Bloemfontein campus. Um, something else that we're very excited about I think my, my speech is actually going very nicely in time with, with, the, with the slides, is the Digital Scholarship Centre um, that Betsy mentioned. So, I don't know, just keep your eyes peeled um, for, uh, for that development. Um, Dora also mentioned all our collaborations. So we've increased our collaborations to strength, uh, strengthen our local and national capacity our MOU with CUT as resulted in this colloquium, as you know, um, our supply MOU that's coming up, and the University of the Free State Library also signed an MOU with the National Museum in Bloemfontein to digitize their research output and make that available on Kofsi Scholar um, as well. So they are very keen to share their, their research as well. Um, and then Dora spoke about our collaboration with the Free State Government, um, and you've seen our complement of librarians that um, support our researchers in open science, in open access, and they are just learning and developing every day together with us to do that. That is a summary. Okay.